Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I just jumped out of the shower and I'm getting ready for an event. I thought I would film a video but I would film a video for you guys, but um, to make it more interesting, I thought I would do a full face of first impressions. Um, because I haven't used a bunch of makeup in a while since I went away. And also, Sports Girl have sent me these new items, the glow items, which I'm going to try out on camera as well. The ingredients sound freaking phenomenal. It's the Glow Illuminating Mask, and it's got Manuka Honey, Sweet Almond Oil, Kakadu Plum, and Evening Primrose and Grapeseed Oil. So, I'm going to start off with that. I have used this, this particular mask before. But I haven't used the um, primer, so that'll be a first impressions. But this you just leave on your skin for like 10 minutes and oh my god. It leaves it so nourished. It smells like honey. I love to do these nourishing masks before I do my makeup. Um, I don't always do it, but I don't like to do anything that's like clearing on the skin or for pimples or drying or anything like that. I just do these really moisturising ones. Um, and that way, oh my god, your foundation sits on your skin so much nicer, so if you have the time, I definitely recommend. Oh, this smells so good. I feel like this would also be like a really good one to put on your skin, like when you're on a plane, because it's just like really nourishing, it like stops the pollution from getting into your skin, so I'm going to leave that on for about 10 minutes and I will be right back. Okay. Um... Alright, now that that's done, my skin feels beautiful. By the way, how much of a wig out is it without me having an eyelash sentence? Ah! Uh, Alright, let's hope this makeup works out because I actually really need to look good for this event. Well, I don't need to look good, but I would like to, to like to look good. So now on to the first impressions. This is the Glow Illuminating Serum Primer from Sports Girl. And it essentially is just like a serum and it's got like little... Not glitter, but sh not sh it's not shimmer, it's not glitter, but it's like little glowy particles in it. Gorge. Alright. Now that my skin is prepped, let's jump onto the foundation. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today, which isn't a first impression, but I have used this. It's this new NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I tried this one, and it's just like not quite the right shade. So I'm going to try this little guy here, which is in Syracuse, I believe. Um, I wasn't really the biggest fan of the foundation, but I don't know whether it's just like, because I didn't set it properly. I feel like it's separated a little bit on my skin, but I'm going to try again today and we'll see how it goes. Oh, I like that there's a little, little paddle. Oh, I always do this. I come in without a mirror and then I'm like, so make it so complicated on myself. Alright, I'm just going to use my fingers because I don't have my beauty blender. I really need a mirror. Every time. Whoa, that's orange. <laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> I need a mirror. It's like extremely orange on me, but I'm thinking that I can... <laughs> Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm thinking I can just blend it out and then put some light concealer over it. That's definitely different to the Syracuse, Syracuse shade from the other foundations, I'm pretty sure, because that one's like what I wear when I'm light, and right now I like have fake tan on, so I don't know. Okay, well I mean, it gives me a really beautiful finish. I'm just going to take a my foundation brush and just kind of like make sure it's all blended. Although I will say, that blended so beautifully with my fingers, like what the hell? And I mean, my skin does look beautiful, I'm just a bit distracted by how orange I look. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to try this Kat Von D Locket Concealer. And this is again something that I've tried it once before, but um... It was too dark for me at the time, and it still kind of is quite dark, like you can't really tell on camera. But like the tone of it isn't like a nice brightening one. Apparently though this concealer is like amazing, like the girls at Sephora were saying that it's like definitely a favourite of people's. Which I can see, like it's very full coverage, I can see how it would be loved. Yeah, 
Wow, that was nice. And that blended super easy. Okay, and then I'm going to try out this Clinique um, Invisible Blend Translucent Powder. Oh shit, I just spilled that everywhere. Um, and I'm just going to bake with this. Translucent. Oh my god. Whoa, that made my eyes smooth. Whoa. Oh my god, that literally looks freaking air like photoshopped. What the hell is this sorcery? I'm just gonna take like a big fluffy brush and just kind of set the rest of my face with that because I do know that this foundation is very dewy, so I feel like it's not gonna last me all night. Powder has just like transformed my skin. Transformed my skin. New favorite translucent powder? Maybe. I'll keep using it and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I'm gonna try out this mineral bronzing powder by Endota Spa. And I'm just gonna take a big brush. Well, everything is turning out freaking great so far. I truly feel like make, doing a mask before you do your makeup really makes like the world of difference because it just makes like any foundation that you put over the top of it just sit so nicely. Like you basically just get rid of any dry patches. And then for um, highlighter, I'm gonna try this model's own um, Sculpt and Glow highlighting powder in Golden Sand 01, and it looks pink. Like, I don't know if it's picking up, but it looks pink. Um, and I don't really like pinks, but we'll try this out. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. Whoa. I don't know if I'm a fan of the shade. Like, I wish they actually had, like, more of a golden sand, like an actual champagne-y type colour, but... It's still so beautiful nonetheless, and I'm pretty sure this is like a quite a cheap, affordable brand. Oh man, I'm tired. I still haven't really kicked jet lag in the butt because I've been quite sick since I got back, so I haven't been sleeping all that well. Bring some of that here. Here, you know the drill. Jeez, God, this highlighter. This is crazy. Now to make sure that all those powders really sink into my skin, I'm going to take this Glow Illuminating Mist by Sports Girl as well. And I use this before, after, during. Mmm, that's a really nice fine mist. I'll let you know whether that makes my skin... Oh, that made the highlighter look so nice. That really blended that in. Wow. It's a good day of first impressions, everybody. For the eyes, I'm so excited that I don't have eyelash extensions because I can actually try to do like something kind of cool with my eyes. So I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs, um, the wild one palette. Untouched, but, oh god. Full of kind of interesting shades. Different, different shades. I'm going to start off with this as a transition shade though. Oh, very, whoa, whoa, what, very, whoa, what the, very pigmented. Wait, what the, did I have something in my brush? Like, buffing brush and just buffing that out. I'm gonna do something like, maybe like a champagne rose gold look. I'm not gonna pick up any more product, I'm just gonna go straight into this eye, because whatever is on my brush, whether that be the shade or not, is extremely pigmented. And I think it is the shade. I, didn't, I haven't used something like this. I'm just pin, picking up more of that on a different brush and I'm just going to see whether... Just maybe like deepen that up. Yeah, that's definitely the shade that is that pigmented. It wasn't... I just picked up too much clearly. It's beautifully pigmented though. That's amazing. Okay, now I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shade just here. And just... Deepen up the out of me. So random. I washed my hair with the full intention to actually style it and now I know I'm gonna run out of time and I'm gonna have to slick it. I always leave everything so last minute. 
Now, I don't really have time to do anything extravagant, so I'm going to pick up this shade here and I'm just going to run it all over my eyelid. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wow. That's so beautiful. That's the eyes. Like a nice champagne golden rosiness. I'm going to try out this glitter from Too Faced. It's Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. And I'm just going to put it like all over. Just to do something different. <laughs> wow, that's actually really cool though. So pretty! Oh my god, I love how accidentally awesome this turned out. Hell yes. I'm going to try out the Bad Girl Bang mascara. While I was away I saw that everybody and their sisters were raving about this. I don't have many eyelashes to test this out with but I'll give it a go. Whoa, I'm in love already. Okay, uh, it looks like it can get a little clumpy but it also is like crazy drama. Like crazy drama, my goodness. You do like two swipes and it's like completely coated your lashes. Okay, well for someone that feels like she doesn't have any lashes left after extensions, I am mighty impressed. Now I'm just going to spritz my face one more time um, with my Glow Illuminating Mist by Spots Girl. That's a really nice fine mist, I like that a lot. Okay, and then to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with my new Marc Jacobs J'adore cream lipstick <laughs> um, and I'm going to try out the shade oh the shade is J'adore give this a go Ooh. oh my god it's really thin but pigmented and comfortable so just to give you guys literally the easiest review of everything that I just used, I thought everything was amazing. Like, I'm not even joking. I thought everything was amazing. Usually there's like one product in there that I'm like, ew. And to be honest, I thought that that was going to be the foundation. I was like, oh, it's very orange, but it's actually turned out really well. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I love, love filming these videos. I always have. So let me know if you guys like them as well. And I'll see you next time.